So I'm going to demonstrate uh, different contact juggling moves. So the first thing I will demonstrate is a butterfly. So that is the movement where you go side to side. And it makes a sideways figure eight. And uh, that is why it's called a butterfly, because the sides look like wings. There are multiple ways to do a butterfly. You could do it real tight like this. You could do it wide like this. And when it's wide, it's called a windshield wiper. And when it's somewhere in between, it's called a wiper fly. And you can go over the top. You can go over the index. You can go around the pinky. and you're bored of just carrying a ball on the back of your hand, you're figuring out what's the next step. The next step is to bounce it. Just pop. And you just, you don't need to have, go real high in the air. You, you just want like maybe an inch of air between your hand and the ball. And the idea is that you get used to catching the ball in this awkward position. And you're getting kind of used to um, feeling the ball on the back of your hand. Now, to progress to the next step, I don't want you to worry about making it look clean or pretty, but just toss it way high in the air and catch it uh, b between your knuckle and your the end of your fingers, just right there. So just toss and catch. And you could go the other way. Toss and catch. Now if you if you watch, my hand's going up with it because the ball's gonna go everywhere. So you so while I'm throwing, my hand is there and I'm just kind of letting the ball the ball rest in my hand as it comes down. So toss catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. And it's awkward because your hand will flip this way and that's okay, that's a sideways butterfly. And if you want to do an over the index butterfly, it will go like this. So toss, catch, toss, catch. And right now, you're not worried about letting it go or keeping it clean or touching. You're just tossing and catching. Don't worry about it catching air. Just toss and catch. Now I'm gonna show some basics of how to do them. So that's a basic butterfly. So if you look, my fingers are spread out um, two of the fingers are in a V and the middle finger is dipped down a little bit and that makes a cradle that gives the ball a place to sit. It doesn't feel natural, but um, just trust me, if you practice with the cradle and walking around, uh, it will become natural pretty quickly. Uh, just be, remember gravity wins so make sure that you give, make sure the part of your hand is the lowest place for the ball to roll. And as you move around, just kind of move to the outside of it because then some G-forces are in action. And just walk around and get used to the cradle in, you know, diff moving different ways and, you know, try out different hands, different sides. Just remember, spread out your fingers, make a V, and dip your middle finger if you have to. So now you know what a cradle is. It's pretty stable in your hand. You've gotten pretty good at popping it up and down and catching it both on your the back and the front of your hand. And you're figuring out, how do I put this together? So. I would say 
toss it extra high, and this time control the throws so when you toss it, it will go in an arc, and when it comes down, you catch it in your fingers. Okay? So again, this going this way, you know, just kind of lift it up and pivot from your elbow. And your fingers at this point will want to curl and chuck it into the window or the cat or the fish tank. Keep those fingers straight. Okay? So, so this is the windshield wiper variation of the butterfly. So it should look like that. Back the other way. And it looks like that. Toss, 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 toss. So see how there's a little bit of air in there? Get used to this motion. And as you are getting more confident in this motion, I want you to pay attention to your cradle. If you notice, my fingers are in a V. As the ball goes this way, the ball wants to follow G-forces and roll out. So as it rolls out, it follows the V and goes into the dip at the apex of the throw. And then as it comes down, it follows the V. Now what this is, is a controlled throw. I'm just touching the ball and catching it in an arc and I am just letting the gap close between my fingers and the ball to the point where my fingers are still touching it, but it's still a throw. So it's a controlled throw, controlled catch. Control throw, control catch. Control throw, control catch. So up, down, up, down. Okay. So you're learning contact juggling and you've got the cradle pretty good where it's not going to fall. You can do it on both hands, both sides. You can do the windshield wiper and you're figuring out what's next with the butterfly. And I've got to tell you, it took me about three weeks to get this one down. Give it about 30 minutes to an hour a day. Practice on the sofa, practice in front of the bed so you don't have to bend over and hurt your back. But now's the time to just kind of clean it up. So you're working on getting the ball touching your fingers as you're rolling it and or as you're throwing it. And the pattern's pretty wide and it's fun, but it doesn't look that pretty. So go a little faster, start your throw, you know, a little higher up. And then you get the hybrid called a wiper fly. It's halfway between a windshield wiper and a butterfly. And then when you get it really tight, you know, this is a butterfly. It's very, very small, very fast. It flutters and it is a very pretty move. Now, so how you do it is you just go a little faster. And instead of starting from here, you just kind of start up here. So you just toss them like this. So the way G-forces work is um, the faster you move, the more the object wants to go on the outside. So hold on to the ball and lift, but don't flip over this time. Catch it in a tripod. Okay. So you're learning the point where the ball wants to stop going up and then starts going down. That's the apex. So this is practice to get the ball to go to the apex, lift, and catch in the tripod. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hand and I'm taking the cradle and I'm squeezing my fingers like this and using my middle finger to hold the ball. So this is a very pretty move on its own. And this is something you could practice in front of the TV.